Hey future doctors, welcome to Vedantu Neat English where your neat dreams are turned into reality. Students, are you really tired of endless study hours with little progress? Then stick to this video till the end because I am going to share some secret tips and tricks to do smart work which are real game changers. But before I get into the tips and tricks, let me share a story with you about two friends who is Neha and Ritu who are both passionate painters and they would get a chance to win and get into a prestigious college so both of them started working. Now students, both of them had two different strategies. Neha, from the day she got to know about the date of the competition, she started working tirelessly, working on a painting, making it perfect and trying to work on a larger canvas. But at the same time, Ritu stepped back, took some time to plan, understand, observe the nature, notice the different colours in the nature and also learn about different types of brush painting techniques. Now, on the day of competition, both of them drew a picture and Neha's picture was a little out of focus or did not give a clarity on what she wanted to reveal to the society. Now, at the same time, Ritu also did the same thing or the picture in a smaller canvas which had a very, very powerful story. Now, the judges were impressed with Ritu's work and she was able to get into the prestigious college. Now, what do I understand? Understand that Neha and Ritu, both of them worked, but both of them worked differently. Neha worked hard, but did not plan smartly. Ritu planned smartly and then worked hard. So understand, sometime in your need journey, more than working or giving just sheer hard work will not fetch you the same results, but sometime smart work will fetch you more results than sheer hard work. So with the story of Neha and Ritu, let's try to understand what you need to do in your need journey to convert your hard work and move it smartly and get into your goals. So the first ever thing is understand the syllabus. So students, that is know your battlefield. When you're going into a competitive exam, the first thing that you need to know is syllabus, right? Understand the syllabus and understand that every topic is not a high weightage topic. So where you have to focus and where you can lightly reduce your focus, you have to know this. So understanding the syllabus is like knowing your battlefield before a bigger, bigger battle. So this way, Example, let's take biology. Biology, we all know that genetics is very, very important. Genetics is so important that you cannot even think of skipping it. But at the same time, imagine you invest all your time in living world. Now what happens is your energy drains and all your focus was on living world which might have not even fetched one question in your need 2025. This way, you will lose all your time. So understanding the syllabus is very, very important. Now the next topic is creating a realistic study plan. Students, many times when we start, for anything for that matter, we make a very unrealistic plan. 10 hours of marathon, 15 hours of study, when you have not even sat 2 hours ever for study. Then how can you make yourself or concentrate for 15 hours? So make a realistic plan. It's not about how long you're sitting. It's about whenever you're sitting, you are making maximum, you know, you're turning maximum output out of it. That is more important. So make a realistic plan which contains, it could be some students love to use Pomodoro technique. Even I have used while studying. That is where I study for 45 minutes, take a 5 minutes break. But since you are neat aspirants and if you have already increased your concentration span up to 2 hours or 3 hours, then you can study for 3 hours, take a proper break and continue. This way what happens is your brain also remains fresh after every break. Now students, the third trick is to quality over quantity. Always remember, it's not about how long you're sitting. See, sometimes some students sit in a 10 hour marathon, but they will not even fetch anything. But at the same time, another student who sat in a two hours marathon would have fetched and will be able to solve all the questions from that topic. Now, don't you think quality really matters more than quantity? So always make sure that you are focusing on what you really need to do at that point. Example, you're taking a paper and you're solving the paper. After solving the paper, you're understanding your mistakes. You're realizing that, okay, I am weak in this topic focusing on your weaker points, trying to focus what kind of questions are coming out of the syllabus. Is, is it all PYQs or is it, is it new types of question? Is it assertion reasoning? Is it statement based? 
this way what happens your quality improves this is the smart work that you need to do then the fourth point is students practice smart not just hard see i'm not telling that hard work is not important but if you don't do a proper planning observing and understanding your pace of studying then how much ever you try to cram you mug up you will not see any results so please make sure that you practice 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 but in a proper way like i told you solve maximum papers understand why you made that mistake understand why this concept is difficult to you is it because you did not understand the concept or is it that you did not focus on the terminologies or is it some loopholes that you missed while studying so this way what happens is your practice will be directed to proper proper marks now students going to the next one active learning techniques many students what they do is when they are going to prepare for a competitive exam they only think about mugging up or by hearting the whole textbook but they forget about using mind maps diagrams or teach back now teach back is a technique where you stand in front of the mirror or you walk and you teach yourself like you take a small topic and you teach yourself as if students are actually present in front of you and you have a responsibility to make them understand now when i stand in a class i always make make sure to use some techniques to use some jokes to uh, make some mnemonics this way what happens is the student find it very easy sitting in my class because they will be like okay this syllabus was actually very easy because complicating and showing my knowledge is not important making sure that a student understand is very important so these are the most five secret tips and tricks to make your marks improve at the same time to make your need 2025 a success now students today in this day you can make a very smart move that is to purchase our freedom sale that is happening where you are going to get the most spoken batch that is the dna batch for the just 1000 rupees all you have to do is go to the description box click on the link and enroll yourself this way you will be able to afford this batch for just 999 until today until today please understand after this the batch will not be at this price it will go back to its normal price so make your decision smartly today so you do not have to regret tomorrow if you like this video definitely smash the like button and also let me know in the comments if it was really helpful and also share with your fellow aspirants thank you so much signing off gopika ma'am your own biology master teacher see you all